Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to the Bubblelot Pure Drive VS Racket Review. This is a highly anticipated racket from Bubblelot. It's a cousin to the Pure Drive, but with a smaller head size and a tighter string pattern. Actually, in specs it lands very, very, very close to the Pure Strike. Similar weight, balance, beam width, stiffness and string pattern. So why have they created the Pure Drive VS and who is it for? Well that is a good question since they only sell this racket in matched pairs. I would assume it is for more advanced players. But the specs indicate otherwise since it has a low swing weight and definitely needs some lead tape in the hoop to play more stable. I don't understand why they did not make a 310 or 15 gram version for attacking baseliners which would have made it into kind of a pure strike tour racket which I think there is a target group for and would have been a much clearer strategy for Babolat and this racket. So the racket in stock form is really light and whippy as you can see with the specs. Too light in my opinion, I instantly felt like I needed to add some lead tape to this stick to, to enjoy it. A positive thing is that the racket is pretty well dampened with the Cortex Pure Feel. Maybe they took it a bit too far because I never felt 100% connected to the string bed similar to my issues with the counter veil rackets. Um, I actually prefer the Pure Strike when it comes to the feel and the touch from the string bed. So I tested this Bubblelot Pure Drive VS with a gut poly combo uh, and a full bed of Bubblelot RPM Blast Rough at 24 kilos. I think both string setups played pretty well. Uh, the gut started fraying quite quickly and got a bit too powerful but the RPM Blast Rough maintained pretty good control. Uh, so the string pattern of this racket offers quite a low launch angle, which was surprising. It's more similar to an 1820 string pattern, more like an 1820 blade, which um, if you compare it to the new Pure Drive, which is a real spin monster, it swings really fast through the air, so it's easy to whip up racket head speed on serves and ground strokes. I wasn't really 100% sure what kind of game style this racket is supposed to go with, it seems like a good stick for aggressive baseliners that rely on maybe one one two combinations when you want to finish the point quickly, a serve out wide and then finish with a ground stroke winner. It's a fun racket to blast winners with, but when it comes to completely relying on it for control and touch at the net for example, it really left something to be desired. I didn't feel connected enough to go for drop shots or just stab a volley for a winner. It was one of those rackets where I'm not really sure what to feel about it. Some sessions I really enjoyed it and others I couldn't quite gel with it. I don't know why. Uh, it's one of the more confusing racket experiences I've had in a while. I kind of expected something different, but when I saw the specs, uh, when they, they were released, it, it did worry me a bit that the stiffness was so high, although it's not an uncomfortable racket and that the weight was so low, so I'm not really sure why they made it so close to the Pure Strike and I think the Pure Strike has a bit better feel, that's my opinion. I think there will be some players who will really like this racket and appreciate some of the benefits, uh, it being a fast hit, uh, you know, really open for customization, adding lead tape to the hoop, etc. But I think Bubblelot needs to rethink this racket a bit, go for a second generation in two years uh, with a lower stiffness and a higher static weight Make it more of a player's racket since you want to sell this in pairs. Uh, I think it has potential, similar to what the Pure Strike had when it came out in the red-black version. It had a lot of potential, but it was stiff and boardy. And then when they re-released it in 2017, it was a much better racket, more complete, made it a bit more uh, comfortable. I think this is what needs to happen with this racket. They need to rethink it a bit, because right now I'm not entirely convinced what the point was, uh, there is something missing here to make it the kind of blockbuster success that the Pure Strike was when it came. And there's something missing in the feel and in the thinking around the target group of players. It lands so close to the Pure Strike that I think the player that likes the Pure Strike might try this. He might like it a bit better or worse, I don't know. But they're so similar, it's hard for me to see uh, what the point is, to be completely honest. I had a lot of fun while playing with it, but I never felt completely in control or comfortable with how the racket performed. It's well dampened, so I don't think you will get a lot of arm issues. Uh, I didn't feel anything at least, but it's, it's a high stiffness, so who knows what pops up down the line. Interesting playtest bit disappointed to be honest. Uh, I hope you have a better experience with this racket than I did. 
Uh, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. So uh, I'm really curious to hear what you think about it. Uh, so please let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot guys for watching this review and for all the support. I get a nice comments uh, in the various Tennis Nerd channels. Uh, as you know, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube as well as tennisnerd.net where I try to collect all the information and some articles uh, that I hope you enjoy to read. Wish you all a very nice day and hope you play some tennis. Thank you.